Right, so one of the most useful things for an investor with Rust skins is you always need to be aware of the new skins that get added every Monday and Tuesday. For my case, because I'm from the UK, um, I see the new skins appearing on Monday and Tuesday, but the deadline is all the new skins that have to be submitted for the new week has to be in by midnight Tuesday PST time. So, in my case, that would be 8 o'clock in the morning for me. I will be talking about the time frame for workshop submissions in a different video, but um, I want to make a video all about setting up a curated Rust workshop submission uh, list. So let's just go over here and show you what that might look like. So when you're in the Rust workshop, if you don't, if you've never gone on there before, which we will see in a minute, you will only see accepted in game and vote for your in your in your queue, but you won't see this. And this is what I'm going to show you how to set up. So, if I were to go over here on this account, let's go and find the Rust workshop. So I hover over community, go to workshop, here we are, type in Rust. And, is, and exactly as I said, you don't see that followed authors list. So why would you want to do this? Well, I only really want to see skins that have a genuinely good chance of appearing in another Rust or rotation. I, as an investor, I'm always speculating about collections potentially getting more skins added to them, and when I do see them, I have to start anticipating it. You know, I might have to buy in to some pre-existing skins from a collection, because a new core piece might be added. And I'll only know that if I'm regularly keeping an eye on the workshop. So. How am I going to set this up? Well, the best thing to do is go over to Accepted in-game. I click this, and I see all the skins that have recently been accepted in the Rust or rotations. But what you're going to want to do then is, well, first of all, make sure you're doing this in browser. <laughs> make sure you're signed in, and pr press the Control button, or you can also just you know, right-click, open a new tab. I am going to be clicking all of these individual names. So Vitalik has two skins here, so I don't need to click them twice. You want to grab every single unique creator. Scroll down. Click, 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 click. Now then what you're going to want to do... Oh, let's uh, refresh that. Come on, no mistakes. No, what's going on? <laughs> That's gone weird. Don't worry, we'll forget about him for now. Follow Vitalik. Close the link. Follow. Close the link. Follow. Close the link. Oh dear, what's going on? Something's going on. It's probably because I was opening too many of these so quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm following all of these uh, creators. Because I know these creators are constantly going to keep making Rust skins. And they have a much better chance of having another skin accepted compared to all of the amateur ones that you see in, um, uh, well, when you search for most recent. So, <laughs> what I'm trying to help you with is to avoid all of, let's go in-game, so browse in-game. I don't want to show this for the video, but what would happen is if I were to search for most recent in all of the Rust skins on the workshop, you're going to be seeing all the random anime stuff. You're going to see all of the amateur things. A lot of people will make one single texture and apply it to every single skinnable item in Rust. We don't need to see that. We only want to see skins that actually have a good chance of being accepted. And I want to see all of them. So if you were to do it the bad way, you'd search by most recent. We're not going to do that. We're doing it this nice new way. So if I refresh now after following so many of them, I now have a followed authors list. Looks nice. But what you're going to want to do is, you probably don't want to do it, oh, now it works. So now I can follow this guy. Um, this hasn't happened to me before, it's very random. It's probably because I opened so many. So yeah, you get yourself a nice setup list. If I just keep going, get this, get this. Now, how far down do you want to go? You would want to, uh, sorry, I'm not in here. How far down would you want to go on all of these pages? I would keep following all of these names all the way up to about at least page five. Now you could go through all of them. You could go up to page 20 if you want to. Gather every single individual, sorry, I hiccup there. 
you'll gather every single individual unique uh, creator name that you can see and you would always have a very nice chance of being fully aware of what's potentially on in the pipeline what could potentially be accepted so yeah I've got myself a very nice list if I were to go back here and refresh oh no not this page <laughs> refresh here once more see I've got a much better list so if we go back to here with the much more refined list over here I'm well aware of all of the very nice introduced skins that have appeared just in time for the deadline and could potentially be picked for the next rust or rotation on July 14th make sense because remember I only want to see skins that actually have a chance to appear in a rust store I don't want to see all of the annoying random things that are just being thrown onto the rust workshop just for the hell of it I want to see things that actually have a chance like for instance another outer planets deployable oh that's nice we've just had the locker and they've sold very nicely haven't they or potentially on the horizon we have some black gold boots now I was hoping to see tier 3 black gold it didn't happen but um, you know next week again Monday Tuesday keep an eye on the workshop I go back to my followed authors list again and I'll wait and see and I'll see if Mr. Bad T Rip in, uh, adds uh, tier 3 then. Maybe he does Black Gold tier 2. Doesn't matter too much. Both of those core pieces would only increase the value of the Black Gold hoodie and pants. And I'll be aware of that very, very quickly. Just because I keep an eye on the Rust Workshop. So that's why you as an investor need to uh, set this all up for yourself. And always keep an eye on it Monday and Tuesday. Um, so of course now it's Tuesday. I wouldn't expect any more skins until when Monday hits again. So all of these skins potentially in the next two, three weeks could appear in a rust or rotation. Hope that was helpful. And now hopefully next you'll watch the video about when will um, uh, workshop skins, when will uh, submissions potentially be accepted. So thank you very much. And uh, have fun.